Hello, my name is Charmian Thomas. I'm the course leader for um, the Extended Diploma in Art and Design uh, Level 3. And I'm going to talk to you a bit about that today. Um, it's a fast track, full time course in art and design. Students often follow it when they have a strong interest and enthusiasm for this subject, but they might not know exactly what specialist area they want to go into. We allow students to work in a myriad of ways, but the main areas are fashion and textiles, uh, graphics and illustration, photography, three-dimensional design, uh, fine art, animation. And they, in the first year, they have tasters within some of those subject areas and we build skills and try really to equip them with processes and techniques to allow them to uh, explore this, this amazing subject. So second year, second year is about consolidating experiences and opportunities and really um, the students choose a specialist area to work within. They work in with facilities and specialist staff to try to um, develop that and work is refined, um, much more sophisticated. Everybody will produce a portfolio of work. Um, you can see some examples here of the range of things that we um, use uh, across the course and the year culminates really within a summer year show where students uh, have, we showcase their work really and they have an opportunity to um, organise a self-motivated project, something of their choice, where they will research and uh, work within it for a number of weeks um, and that is in exhibition. The uh, exhibition opens with a private view, we have fashion shows, um, animation and photography showings. So it's a really exciting time for students. Um, it's the, you know, all the skills and knowledge has come together and um, they're really showing off what they can do. We have many facilities in terms of specialist rooms. We're quite lucky at HSDC Alton. Um, students can really absorb themselves in the technique or process that they're trying to learn and we have specialist technicians and staff who can apply knowledge and give them help on a one-to-one -one basis. Um, we uh, have things like digital suites, computer suites, um, specialist print, print making areas, screen printing, uh, casting and um, welding areas as well. So there is something there for everyone, I hope. Um, I think it, you know, the, the students that come to us are students which have some knowledge of art and design, generally. They've studied it previously um, and they're very driven to, you know, want to make um, this subject their career. Um, we do have a few students who've never studied art and design before but their their interest is very very strong and they want to pursue it. I mean we welcome all applications from everybody um, and we we have you know good conversations with them to make sure that the course is right for them. When our students have left us they move on to university or other areas of um, interest and uh, they do extremely well. So our alumni students are working designers um, in their own right, some of them have their own companies. Um, they've worked for, you know, some designers have worked for people like Victoria Beckham, ASOS um, and we've had people doing set design for the Royal Opera House and a range of architectural firms. So they come back and, and show us their work and they keep in touch with the course and sometimes do talks to our students to inspire and motivate. 
and it's really nice to see exactly what they do. If you need to, please do contact me, Charmian Thomas, um, at Alton, and um, we're very happy to speak to you. To it's it's lots of fun. The course, please, please do apply. Hello, my name is Mark Taylor. I'm here to talk to you about the UAL Foundation Diploma in Art and Design. So this foundation course is highly recognised. They've been running foundation courses in this country decades, so it's a backbone of art and design education. So all those London colleges uh, understand the, the courses, and uh, so it's really good to do a foundation course, having done A-levels or vocational courses, to give yourself enough time to develop your own work, to develop your own practice. So the course is essentially for students who have studied A-level art, photography, textiles, graphic design, maybe they've done film courses, media courses, they might have done IT, uh, they might have done some drama, and product design, architecture kind of courses. So there's a whole raft of students will come to us, some with different, different abilities. So not of all, the, all of them necessarily the most fantastic drawers in the world. They might have different skills, digital skills, photography skills. So those students are coming to the course really looking to find out and make sure that they are going to go into the right specialist degree course. Because there are so many courses out there that students can go on to. Uh, so it's, it's really vital because they're spending a lot of money and a lot of time and it is their, you know, their career they're thinking about that they actually get on to the right course. So foundation courses, as I said, are really able to support students in this, this kind of maybe difficult, challenging time for them. It's very easy for students to perhaps say, oh, I'll go off to this course and because I've done textiles, I've done A-level art. Uh, that's what you chose to do when you were 16, but now you might have more skills, more interests. So often students come onto the foundation course and they change direction. So they did fine art and then they decide to do animation or they did f photography uh, and they start to bring their graphics into it and they do fashion promotion. They do, might go into marketing. So these, these courses and these changes are all what the foundation offers. Uh, so in the first term, students are allowed to do really kind of quite personal, expressive projects, uh, which allow them to develop their own interests, but also trying to target and work out what specialist area they're going to go into. So that by the end of the second term, they really know what they're doing. They've made applications and they're going to university and showing their portfolio, either online or with a walk big A1 portfolio which is all mount, beautifully mounted up and we spend a lot of time with the students uh, looking and editing their work so that they, they're really, really prepared for the university process. We offer lots of digital skills um, and handmade skills from 3D to 2D design work. Students will do fashion, they'll, they'll do construction, they'll learn how to, if they're in that area, we'll learn, teach them about illustration. Um, and really, students will, in the first term, develop a whole range of photography skills, which all come together in their own personal work. And then gradually, as the course progresses, they'll do more and more specialist projects before it culminates in the course when we have a final major project, which the students are it's completely self-motivated, we negotiate that, that with the students, so they're really completely involved in that, it's their project, um, and they've kind of come through the course and they're really excited about that project. It, it, it takes the whole term and uh, at the end of it we have an exhibition which is in private view, it, so it's exciting time for the students, and those students then know they're really ready for university and can go off and progress. If you're thinking about the foundation course, Yes, it will be the right course for you if you've done A-levels. Yes, it will provide you lots of skills. And essentially, it will help you to make the right decisions. So your career is really important to you, so it's worth investing this time. Now, fortunately, this course is free to you. So it's a free year to um, play, have time, and then 
you'll make some really good applications and you'll be really confident when you go to university. It gives you time to think and, and make sure you're doing the right thing. Um, so we're looking forward to your applications. You can go online, look at the prospectus online um, and we'll, we'll see your portfolio and you'll come for a, an interview or an online interview. And uh, we're just looking to look at your, your coursework. Thank you for listening to this presentation on the Art Foundation at HSDC Alton. Hello everybody. My name is Daryl Kingsley and I'm the course leader on the Level 2 Art Design here at HSDC Alton. If you're interested in a creative career, then this course could be the one for you. It can launch your career as a designer or help you to progress onto a level 3 course here at HSDC Alton as well. There are many career opportunities in graphic design, illustration, photography, advertising or marketing. The level 2 programme has a duration of one year. It has 100% coursework which ends with a final major project which determines your final grade. This is currently producing a pop-up shop for making and selling your own creative products. All units need to be completed to pass this course. We have a varied learning environment with a mix of creative practical, well informed by research into artists, their work and art movements. The teaching includes trips, learning design and drawing techniques and discovering more about photography and textiles. Entry requirements is a grade 3 profile at GCSE which is a D or above. If you need to continue with GCSE English and Maths then you can do this alongside this course. What happens next? Well you can either start your career in your creative industries or progress onto a level 3 course. This is a two-year vocational course here at Alton and is equivalent to three A-levels. You will be guided and supported through the year by expert teachers who will help you to achieve your goals. Please find all relevant information and on the course on our website at www.hsdc.ac.uk. Thank you and we hope to see you next year.